Hi guys, Anime Box back for another unboxing. And holy crap, it's been a long time since I've done a video, uh, and I'm super sorry about that. But uh, I was super busy for a mm, couple months. But now that my convention that I work for is over, I've got my artist alley table all done, I can finally focus on videos again. Um, so to make up for, I think I've gone like a month without vi any videos up, uh, I'm just going to pump out as many videos as I can uh, to make up for it. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So uh, let's check out our March Akibento. Let me just cut it open. Wow, that was the smoothest box opening I've ever done. So this month's Akibento for March, uh, their theme is Mecha. So that probably won't be the best for me personally, uh, considering I'm, I'm really not into Mecha stuff. Um, but I know a lot of people are, so hopefully you guys can look forward to that. And uh, next month for April, their theme is Revenge. So that should be pretty interesting. So, let's see what we have. Looks like we have a little trading figure, which is Evangelion Assault Action Q. No idea what this is, but let's open it uh, and see what's inside. I'm supposed to open it here. And let's see what we got. I got a pink... Whoa, cool! It looks like it's kind of like a kit. I'm not into mecha, uh, but I've been wanting to do little kits and stuff, so this seems like a pretty cool start. And, oh, it looks like we've got instructions printed on the inside of the box, too. So let's see if I can figure out how to put this all together real fast. Unsurprisingly, it took me a while to get this put together, but it's actually pretty cool. It's all flexible, so it's, you know, it's like a, it's kind of like a Figma. Uh, only the plastic is quite soft, so I just set it up in this pose. Um, and it came with a set of four hands. So, we have a, a left and a right for this round grip and a left and a right for this more angular grip. And all those hands came on this little tree. Uh, and it also comes with uh, this, I'm assuming it's a rifle, this more sort of a handgun, which is really flat. And then it has this really bizarre base with different connector rods and stuff, and then this here. And of course the figure itself, which is, it's really fun to pose because it's super limber. It bends really well, so it's pretty cool. A uh, very cool little thing. So. Now that we've had a look at that, let's move on to... Oh, look, we've got another little trading figure in here. That's pretty sweet. And these look like little chibi Gundams, maybe? So let's go ahead and open it. Oh, look, it has this... It must be from the same thing, from the same company, I mean. Uh, it has, like, the same sort of opening tab. I'm assuming these are all from Bandai. That would make sense. And it looks like we've got this little guy here. So I'll just go ahead and open it up really fast and put it together. And this one was much easier to put together. It only had a couple pieces. And it's really strange plastic. It, well, it's like rubber. It's all very soft and bendy. And this is pretty cool. Uh, it's all movable and articulated. And as you can see, the pieces come apart. Oh god, very easily. Um, but he can move like his head and his arms and his little feet. Uh, so it's a pretty cool thing. Moving on, let's see what else we have. Looks like we've got our monthly pin, which is the Akibento March Mecha 2016 pin. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And looks like we've got a towel. Oh damn, that's pretty legit. I'm not familiar with this character, but that's what the towel looks like. Uh, and it's from Gurren Lagann, and I haven't seen Gurren Lagann yet. I've only seen one episode, and that was like 10 years ago, so... Uh, clearly I need to brush up on all of my classic anime viewing, but that's pretty cool. It's a very sizable towel. It's kind of the same as the Mako towel that I got in the Kill a Kill Omakase box. So clearly this is the big feature of the month. That's really cool. And I think this is our last item, the uh, monthly t-shirt. Oh, no, I was wrong. It looks like we've got a big old poster in here. Let's see what this looks like. Holy crap, this thing is enormous. It's a really vivid looking mecha art. I'll just put uh, an image right here of what the poster looks like so you can see the whole thing because it's just not gonna fit on my camera. This is a very big uh, print. And okay, let's see, back to the t-shirt. Oh, I think they sent me a small one this time, which I'm glad to see. And looks like we've just got, I mean, I'm not really gonna know anything about any of these characters 
uh, since I don't watch any mecha anime. I've never seen Gundam, I've never seen Evangelion, I've never seen any of that. Uh, I think the only Gundam series I've seen is Code Geass, but that's a pretty cool t-shirt. And lastly, we have our little card of the month, Mecha, and on the back, it shows us everything that we got. Oh damn, they had six different towels, that's pretty crazy. Hope I wish I could have gotten the uh, Code Geass towel, because that's really cool. And then you could have gotten one of eight of any of these blind boxes, and any of these little Chibi Gundam figures here, and here is... Oh, well, there you go, that's the, the full poster, and it's quite large, so it's pretty cool. And then, of course, the pin and the shirt. Alright, so here is everything we got in our March Acubento. Uh, didn't get, like, a lot of individual items, but we did get a couple of large items, so that's pretty cool. And if you want to check them out for yourself, I have a special link in the description that you can use to go and order your own Acubento. Until next time, guys, Anime Box out!